Alrighty, we're uh, June 2010, and uh, we're on page three, question nine. The data table lists uh, the mass and speed of four different objects. The mass and speed. We could find all sorts of things about that, but what are they asking for? The object with the greatest inertia. Inertia is a measure of mass only. So we're really looking for the thing with the greatest mass, which would be choice D. All right. Question 10. The diagram below is a horizontal 12 Newton force. It's being applied to two blocks, A and B, initially at rest on a horizontal frictionless surface. Block A has a mass of 1 kilogram. B has a mass of 2 kilograms. Frictionless surface. And the magnitude of the acceleration of block B. Well, it's going to be the same as block A. This force is going to push both masses. So if the force is 12 newtons, the total mass is going to be 3 kilograms. So it's going to have, let's see, acceleration is force divided by mass. 12 newtons divided by 3 kilograms gives us an acceleration of 4 meters per second squared. So they'll both have the same acceleration. And it's going to be 4 meters per second squared. It would be an AP question if they were to ask what's the force experienced uh, at this boundary right here. But it's not. This is just regions physics, so it's easy. Question 11. Ball is thrown vertically upwards with a velocity initial of 29.4 meters per second. What's the maximum height? Maximum height means the final velocity is zero. And you're looking for distance. The thing that's going to slow them down is acceleration due to gravity. And let's see if we can't find a quick formula. And a couple of ways to do this, but uh, we've got a formula. This is final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and distance. So velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus 2AD. Velocity final is 0. So we can write velocity initial squared is equal to 2 a d, let's call that g d. So divide both sides by two g. That gives us our distance. So it's calculator time, and that would leave us an answer of forty-four point one meters. That works. Question twelve: A mass being swung clockwise at a constant speed. Well, if we look at it, there's two things that can be happening. We can have instantaneous velocity, which is tangential to the path. Or we can have centripetal acceleration, which by definition means center-seeking, or towards the center of the path. So let's see what they ask for. At the instant shown, the centripetal force acting on the mass M is directed point towards point, uh, that would be C, point C. Centripetal, center-seeking, towards the center. Question 13. A 1.3 kilogram gun initially at rest. Oh, I love these problems. Uh, it's free to move. When a mass of 0 0.015 kilogram bullet leaves with a speed, a velocity of 500 meters per second, what would be the speed of the gun? Well, this is a conservation of momentum problem. The momentum backwards is going to equal the momentum forwards. The momentum before, zero, is going to be equal to the momentum afterwards. So the bullet's got momentum, and the gun will also have momentum. So uh, we can say that the mass one is equal to 3.1 kilograms. Velocity recoil of the gun is the unknown. And the formula is uh, uh, momentum equals momentum m1v1 equals m2v2 so m2v2 divided by m1 is equal to v1 calculator time well the momentum of the gun or the momentum of the bullet is going to be 7.5 meters per second and you know what let's look at the answers the momentum of, of the gun can't be 500. That was the velocity of the bullet. I'm going to multiply it by a small number. Uh, the momentum of the bullet was 7.5. And so the momentum backwards has to be 7.5. But the mass of the gun is larger, so the velocity's got to be less. But it's not going to be zero. 
2.4 meters per second. Another one done, and this is the page. You know, I think I got time to do page four, only three questions. Four projectiles, A, B, C, and D, are launched horizontally, and um, are they launched, and then they return to the ground. And that's what the data table shows us. Projectiles A, P, horizontal speed, vertical speed, and time of flight. Which projectile traveled the greatest horizontal distance? Well, distance horizontal is going to be velocity horizontal times time of flight. So let's see, 6 times 4 is uh, 240 meters. 6 times 4, that's going to be the same. 5 times 5, 250 meters. And 8 times 4. That looks like the winner to me, boys and girls. Coming in at 320 meters is option D. There we go. 15. A wind-up spring, a wound spring provides energy to propel a toy car across level ground. At time T is moving at velocity V across the floor, the spring is unwinding as shown. At time TF, the spring is fully unwound and the car is coasted to a stop. All right, what's going on in this problem? Which statement best describes the transformation of energy that occurs? Gravitational potential. I'm going to cross this out. Elastic potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. I like that. Both elastic energy and kinetic energy at time initial, well, it, it didn't have any kinetic energy uh, at time initial. And converted to internal energy um, at time final, well, yeah, internal energy, eventually everything turns to heat. I'm liking that. Um, Oh, wait a minute. It can, at time final, uh, the velocity final is zero. So that can't be right. Uh, both kinetic energy and internal energy heat are converted to elastic potential energy. That's the, the spring is winding back up again. So let's go with three. Elastic, the spring, and whatever velocity are converted to an... Oh, after the spring unwinds, then it has kinetic energy. And then it converted to internal energy at time F. All right. Comes to a stop. It all had to turn to heat. We'll go with, uh, we'll go to choice three. Uh, 16, question 16. 75 kilogram bicycle, yeah, 75 kilograms. Coast down a hill at a constant speed of 12 meters per second. Velocity is 12 meters per second. What's the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy. I look it up and it tells me kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Uh, 12 is 144 meters per second times 75 and half of that. So let me get my calculator out. And that's going to give me 5,400. Choice three. All right, we're done with two pages.